This video is about verb tense, particularly the present perfect for weak verbs. What is the present perfect tense? Present perfect tense in German is called the Perfect. It is the conversational past, the past tense that Germans use for speaking. The formula for all perfect is helping verb or Hilfsverb plus past participle or partzi perfect. We are starting with weak verbs. For weak verbs, the helping verb is haben, and the past participle is ge plus stem plus t. Let's look at an example. I have bought a book. Have is the helping verb in bold. Bought is underlined in the past participle. In German, this is ich habe ein Buch gekauft. You can see that the conjugated verb habe is in the second position and it is conjugated in the present tense. Hence the term present perfect. The past participle comes from to buy, which is kaufen. The stem of kaufen is kauf. The formula is ge plus stem plus t. That means that the past participle of kaufen is gekauft. The past participle is always located at the end of the sentence. We're going to look at conjugating the helping verb. Conjugated verbs go in the second position in a German sentence. To conjugate present tense verbs, you need the infinitive of the verb. This is the verb in the raw. First, you need to find the stem of the verb. The stem or stamm is the infinitive, infinitive, minus an or n or minus en or n. Conjugating is the stem, stamm, plus endings, endungen. The endings are e, st, t, en, t, en. An easy way to remember these endings is Eastern Standard Time, 10, 10. You add the stem to the endings to conjugate the verb. We have conjugated haben before, and you should remember that haben is laughing at us in the do and er's yes forms. The stem is not hab in those forms, but ha, ha, ha. Let's conjugate haben. You can pause the video if you want to try it on your own. The conjugations are ich habe, du hast, er's yes hat, wir haben, ihr habt, sie and sie haben. More regular past participles. Past participles always say the same. The only thing that changes with each subject is the conjugation of the helping verb, haben. For all weak verbs, the formula for the past participle is ge plus stem plus t. Let's see if we can figure some out. We have below, to buy is kaufen, the stem is kauf. To do is machen, the stem is mach. To say is sagen, the stem is sag. To cook is kochen, the stem is koch. To play is spielen, the stem is spiel. To dance is tanzen, the stem is tanz. And to learn is lernen, the stem is lern. So you can pause the video now to figure out the past participles if you would like. The past participles are gekauft, gemacht, gesagt, gekocht, gespielt, getanzt, and gelernt. There are special verbs whose stems end in D or T, which need an extra letter. One example is arbeiten. The stem is arbeit, and the ending for past participles is T. You cannot add a T to a stem ending in T or D. Since the formula for weak past participles is GE plus stem plus T, you will need an E to help you. So to work is arbeiten, the stem is arbeit. That means that the past participle is gearbeitet. Note the ET at the end. Let's try some examples. I have posted these examples for you. So I would recommend pausing the video and trying them on your own, unless you really want to do one together. So pause the video if you want to do all of them on your own. Those of you that are still here, the first one is he has played basketball yesterday. So what is your helping verb? You should have identified has. 
What is your past participle? You should have identified played. How do we say to play? To play is spielen. You saw it on the previous slide. So the stem of spielen is spiel. Good job. So our formula is GE plus stem plus T. That means that the past participle for spielen is gespielt. And we know that past participles always go at the end. So you're going to put gespielt at the end. How do you say he? Well, that's er. How do you conjugate haben for er? That's hot. Now all that's left is basketball and yesterday. We like to put time before we put anything else. Yesterday is gestern, and basketball stays the same. Basketball, just capitalize it. So for number one, you should have er hat gestern basketball gespielt. Now pause the video and try the rest on your own. The answers you should have are Wir haben die Hausaufgabe gemacht. Ich habe das Händchen gekocht. Du hast das gesagt. Die Studenten haben letzten Abend getanzt. Claudia hat am Montag gearbeitet. Remember, this is for speaking in German, whereas the present perfect is used for writing in English. We flip those. That's the end of this video. So if you need any help, ask in class.